Hi, family of witches. How are you? You all, um, I like to talk to you because I have a confession to talk about to the newbies, those people who are new to the channel and don't know me. But most of the people who are here on my channel, they do know me because some of them are just like myself. I always say we're in a soul group. You know, we're we're soul family. You understand? Okay. You can be, you know, some kin to somebody. You understand? And not be in the same soul family or in the same spirit family. You see what I'm saying? And it can be a person that's no blood kin to you. And you all can be, you know, soul partners in a sense or soul group and you're, you're in the same same soul group or something of that 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 uh nature you understand what i'm saying and so um so a lot of you all are similar to me i definitely feed off of the energy of people that blow fuses anybody else out there like that okay it really feeds me a lot of the times, you know, people see me and they're like, Mama, you look so groggy and tired or whatever, because I give off a lot of energy to people. You understand? I have a lot of soul ties because many people have come into contact with me, uh, people all over the world, as far as uh, Dubai. And so that, that, that really can become draining as you share your aura, you understand, with the uh, spiritual world, you know, within you, around you, and within and around the people that you service. So a lot of the time, I'm pretty much wasted, honestly. And so when people blow fuses, you know, and, and see, I, I'm saying this because I want people to be very careful you know, because a person like myself, I have to feed. Uh, but I try to be respectful. But a lot of people are not respectful and they blow fuses and they, they spew a lot of negative energy. I have done so myself, you know, just gotten just very emotional. And uh, you have to be careful when you're in that type of state because people will eat your energy. And then you're wondering why, you understand, what's going on? I just couldn't pull myself up off the bed. I couldn't get out of the house. And that's because I can create an attachment to you so that I can feed. Now, y'all know mama loves y'all out there. Mama needs y'all to know that you just cannot let them see you sweat. Beware of energy vampires. They will push your buttons just so that they can, you know, fill themselves up again. Okay? Be careful. I myself am an energy vampire. I'm very selective, okay, as to who I feed off of. Uh, I am also an emotional, okay, orc attachment which means that I can also feed off of your talents. Uh, I definitely uh, channel talents and energies. So you got to know who you're dealing with, you understand? And I do this because I like to give people a heads up. You know, I, there's a lot of people coming here, people who are not spiritualists, people who are just curious. Who is this spiritual night? Ema, okay? So once you come into my realm here, okay, on this virtual space called YouTube, I will attach a spiritual core to you. And that gives me access to different talents. And, and I want to share some of the things that I've, I've done and everything because I'm a channeler and I, and I need, I need people in order to channel these dolls that I create and channel these paintings and channel all of this creativeness. I make my own songs and stuff like that. 
and I'm I'm getting I'm, I, I've gotten a, 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 a I've gotten an email from a producer out of nowhere. So you know we're talking back and forth. He's interested in you know having me be a part of one of his documentaries is um, concerning like past lives and stuff like that and uh, being a medium and different little things like that. So we've been going back and forth for a few months. I, I shared that with you all uh, in the virtual cove and so in Facebook, which you all need to go out there. I'm Spirit Tree Naima, N-Y-E-M-M-A. You know, there's a lot of people. I'm hoping that the people who are, who are coming here because they think mama is a negative person, realize that mama is a mama of love and I love you and I know you have been hurt. I know you have been, uh, you know, injured and damaged by some bad people, but mama wants you all to know that she loves you and you understand you can come to the coven. I welcome you with open arms, but at the same time too, if you mean mama no good, mama's also a meal, okay? She's a miracle. So she knows she hadn't done anything to you, but you should come to her. You understand what I'm saying? You give her a fair chance, okay? So now, so I know a lot of you all are out there. You're coming to see who this night Ema lady is. You are, you are welcome into my home, okay? And um, if you think you came here for some, some drama and for some gossip, but in all honesty, it was already preordained for you to come here this moment in real time or no matter what time you receive this message, you know, the spirits wanted you to be here. Yes, your spirits wanted you to, to be here. And for all of you all who are new to this channel and you're thinking, hey, I just want to see who this lady is. No, that's not what it is. The spirits brought you here. Because you are going to embark on a new journey. Yes, you are. This is a new journey for you. And uh, the world of spiritualism has opened up to you. Yay. Today is your birthday. For all of you newbies, people, like I say, here for drum, today is your birthday. Okay? This is your spiritual birthday. It is August the 5th of 2015 don't ever forget this day okay because next year come august the 5th of 2016 you will be one years old how about that okay so um i just want you all to know that you need to be careful because you can give off and uh, you can blow off a lot of steam you got people waiting there to steal that energy to eat it and i have to feed i have to feed i need it I need the sting. Um, most people who blow that fuse, and, 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 I, and, and I caution you, try not to blow a fuse, man. Try to be as calm as possible. You know, I got some spirits that will just pop off in a minute. And I have to calm those spirits down, but when my other spirits come to settle me down, I, I, I realize I could not allow them to see me sweat because somebody is waiting, Okay to eat that, that energy. So I want you all to be mindful of that family. Always remain calm as possible because the, the, the vamps love to see you give it all, okay? Are you going to be a victim of an energy vampire? Are you emotional right now and hangry? Well, guess what? There will be people like me, energy vamps, okay? And we mean no harm. And, and, and it's totally, it's totally normal, okay, to be an energy vampire. What I mean about that, an energy vampire, because I know there's a lot of people who don't understand what's going on because they're here for gossip or just want to see what I'm going to say, you know, or whatever. Uh, so I need to let you know what an energy vampire is. That's a person that will feed off of you spiritually. Most of the time, they may give you off a lot. They may cause you to give off energy, like you're just talking about the same thing over and over again until you're just blue in the face, okay, or red in the face, or they're just on and on and on, just nitpicking, nitpicking, nitpicking because they need you to finally, you understand, go off because they're getting something from it, you know. And um, like, they're, they're, people don't realize sometimes I'm on the phone and people are like, well, why are you wasting your time with that person? Because I'm feeding. 
So I'll entertain any phone conversation. Uh, I'll entertain any argument just to sit there and, and eat, you know, because later on I have a, a place that, you know, a storage place within me where I can go and use those as reserves. That is That can be very harmful, but I myself have shared energy. And like I was saying in the beginning before I got off subject, uh, we all, to some extent, have been ourselves energy vampires. If you're sick and you're depressed or you're just down and out for some reason, you know, you're dealing with some, some mental issues and stuff like that, and you lean on your support system at that particular moment, you are an energy vampire. The problem with the situation of being an energy vampire or being confronted by an energy vampire it, it's the fact that some people are gurus. You need to be careful. Some people are experts at it and they live to create chaos so that they can eat. Okay? And they remain calm. Well, like they say, cool, calm, and collected while they feast. So you need to be really careful. I myself am a, a spiritual medium, which I can't speak to uh, their spirits, and I channel those spirits for my uh, my dollies, for my puppets, if you want to call them booty dolls, if you call them booty dolls, booty dolls, conjure dolls, or trick bags, conjure bags, mojo bags, because I'm a practitioner. You understand what I'm saying? And um, I do speak to spirits. And um, speaking with those spirits require a lot of energy. So you have to be very careful because I can also channel your energy. I can become you and speak exactly like you. I can channel you. And I've done it over and over again. So you need to be careful. You understand? Whose company, whose space you're sharing, whose name you're speaking. Okay? I have channeled many, I'm telling you, spirits and many people. I once did a reading for this guy. And we were on the phone and uh, uh, I brought her something. I was like, you know what? You know, I just became this person's ex wife. And he got to arguing with me. He was like, well, you know, you always bringing that S-H-I-T up. You always at it. You, you always been that way. That's why we got a divorce. And I was like, whoa, excuse me, sir. But I'm not your wife. I had to snap him out of it. He said, oh, my God, you sounded just like my ex-wife. And he himself was a practitioner. And he said, but the, but the craziest thing about it is I do not understand how you can channel a living person. He was like, I've heard of people channeling the dead, but the living people? And I was like, your wife is alive? He said, yes, this is weird. So, I, yes, I do. I channel energy from living and the dead and from animals, you know, and insects. I can transfer into insects as I sleep and animals, and I can go into homes and, you know, and um, heal, and I can go in homes and steal. I mean, whatever I need, it's just who I am. So, I want you to know who I am and I know there's some curious people out there. You need to know, okay, that there's no telling at any given time what spirit is in here. These spirits can be very loving, and some of them can be very wicked and hateful. Which one have you met? Okay. Love you, family, and um, I would love for you all to come out to my virtual coven. I am Spiritry Naima, N-Y-E-M-M-A. And please subscribe, okay? Let mama show you some love. Let the family show you love. Bye-bye.